Hey, this is Carl at Jans Engineering, and uh, we're playing differential again today. Uh, we're putting 307s in a Dana 70 Heavy Duty. Uh, normally, they don't fit in this housing. Um, the 307s had a special 70-3 housing. Some people call it a Dana 71, uh, kind of like the Dana 61 that had the weird gears in it. Um, but the truck's going from a gas truck to a diesel, and we'll have the uh, RPMs right on the diesel with the 307 gears. Now the, the housing itself, there's about 300,000 offset where the pinion comes through on the housings. Therefore the gears aren't supposed to fit. But you're going to see how we got them to fit here. First off, you probably wonder what this is. We're just going to set this aside for a minute. Back over to look in the housing there. All right, normal housing. The pinion is over off center line, five eighths of an inch. This big 307 gear, the pinion is off almost an inch to one side. So to make up for that in this housing, we took the carrier, which is over here. Yeah, no, we're getting there. We took the carrier. And you can see we moved over about another quarter of an inch here. That made the bearing go on farther. We also narrowed the house, the, the actual ring gear down about a sixteenth of an inch. Bolts still work. All right. The carrier itself has been shaved flat with the tops of the ring gear bolts. That still isn't quite enough to make up the difference. So. I'm going to look at the bearing difference here. This is a standard heavy duty bearing. This bearing's been narrowed a little off both sides. Now, what you see here is the cage is sticking out. So, how are you going to get that cage in and out? To the, the, and of course, these are dummy bearings, so they slip on and off. But we'll show you how we get this into the housing with this cage sticking out. Put it, slip it back together. Get our shims on. Okay, you do all this without hurting your fingers. Oh, we try not to. So now we stick it to the left side. She drops in. Well, that makes that look easy. Well, yeah. Well, because we've got this over here, now we've got all this gap to make up. That puts the cage inside the tube over on this side. Mm-hmm. Cage is over on this side. So then, this is a standard uh, heavy-duty bearing shim that we welded a washer to so we can get it in and out. That's the magic of this, with the washer in there. To get, you, you wouldn't be able to pull this out right now because that bearing's going to catch in this side of the head. But by moving it over sideways, it comes in and out. So, Right where we want. 